How are you doing, Douglas? I I'm all right. See. Thank it, you very much, Jim. Is it is it Anita or Janita? Neither. One Anita. I was I was miles off in both directions. There you go. <laughs> now you found actually more fame outside of Australia, right? Mostly in the UK and the US. How how does that feel? What what kind of adjustments did you have to make? When I was young, and you know my. 20s early 20s I, I i i'd done a couple of you know years in australia and then i moved to england and i i i wanted to be a comedian but i didn't know if i'd make it or if i was good enough or anything like that so 10 years later i was still there and then i moved to america and you know life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans i think john lennon said john that, lennon right? okay okay and and then the switch from there to the u.s how did you adjust or adapt to the u.s comedy scene so quickly um, in this movie? i think I think funny's funny. The, the 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 difference that I had maybe from someone who just does bits as such is most of my stuff are personal stories. We could all watch the movie from South Korea, Parasite, and we could all relate to those characters and we were watching it with subtitles or Squid Game. But once I started getting a little bit more into social issues, I, I had to, you know, do a little bit more research or, or be entrenched in a country. So I, I, I won't be stupid and come to Malaysia and then say, this is what's wrong with your government. This is what's wrong with your politics. Because I would have only been there for a day. So I'll probably stay away from those topics. Can you talk us through some of the most like, intense or worst stand-up experiences? Uh, well, I've, I've had a few. I, I, I got punched in the face on stage at the Manchester what? Comedy Store. In about, was it Will yeah, Smith? <laughs> uh, oh, long before Will Smith nicked my bit. That was this was long before that. This was uh, if you if you put Jim Jeffries punched into Google, you'll see uh, the clip. It's been up there since 2006, 2004, something like that. And uh, oh. so I got punched. I got punched on stage. And that was pretty bad. I've I've had people heckle me that you know ruin shows. That's always bad. But I think still, this is a classic, and this happens to everyone all the time. In, the, in my first two years of stand-up, in front of maybe 60 people in a pub, I asked the woman in the front row when she was expecting a baby, and that still, and she, she wasn't pregnant, and that still lives with me every day, the look on her face and the horror of asking that question. So I think that's more relatable to everyone. I think a lot of people have been through that moment. But being punched yeah. in the head is, is much less of a blow than doing that to a person. Has there been one observation you made during your time in Malaysia, which which you go, like, okay, this is weird or this is funny, this might be interesting? Mate, I'll be I'll be honest with you, I I that two are blended into one. I was drunk the entire time, so I can't quite. I I could lie to you right now, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. I can't remember much. I'm hoping to remember more this time. Okay. Part of the reason I'm coming Asia back. <laughs>